Jesus Christ is the light of the world. The light no darkness can overcome. Stay with us, Lord, for it is evening. And the day is almost over. Let your light scatter the darkness. And illumine your church. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. We give you thanks, O God, for in the beginning you call light into being. And you set light in the sky to govern night and day. In a pillar of cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night. You led your people into freedom. Enlighten our shadows by the light of your Christ. May your word be a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. For you are merciful and you love your whole creation. And with all your creatures we give you glory. Through your son Jesus Christ in the unity of the Holy Spirit now and forever. Amen. Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. They came to the other side of the sea, to the country of the Gerasenes. And when he had stepped out of the boat, immediately a man out of the tombs with unclean spirits met him. He lived among the tombs, and no one could restrain him anymore, even with a chain. For he had often been restrained with shackles and chains, but the chains were wrenched apart, and the shackles he broke in pieces, and no one had the strength to subdue him. Night and day among the tombs and on the mountains, he was always howling and bruising himself with stones. When he saw Jesus from a distance, he ran and bowed down before him, and he shouted at the top of his voice, What have you to do with me, Jesus, Son of the Most High? I adjure you by God, do not torment me. For he had said to him, Come out of the man, your unclean spirit. Then Jesus asked him, What's your name? He replied, My name is Legion, for we are many. 
he begged him earnestly not to send them out of the country. Now there on the hillside, a great herd of swine was feeding. And the unclean spirits begged him, send us into the swine, let us enter there. So he gave them permission. And the unclean spirits came out and entered the swine and the herd, numbering about 2,000, rushed down the steep bank into the sea and were drowned in the sea. The swine herds run off and towed into the city and in the country. Then people came to see what it was that had happened. They came to Jesus and saw the demoniac sitting there clothed and in his right mind, the very man who had had the legion, and they were afraid. Those who had seen what had happened to the demoniac and to the swine reported then they began to beg Jesus to leave their neighborhood. As he was getting into the boat, the man who had been possessed by demons begged him at, that he might be with him. But Jesus refused and said to him, Go home to your friends and tell how much the Lord has done for you and what mercy he has shown to you. And he went away and began to proclaim in the Decapolis how much Jesus had done for him. And everyone was amazed. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. What it is that has been tormenting you. When was the last time you have proclaimed to the world the mercy of the gospel of Jesus Christ? Long ago, God spoke to our ancestors in many and various ways by the prophets. But in these last days, God has spoken to us by the Son.
The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Mighty God of mercy, we thank you for the resurrection dawn, bringing the glory of our live risen Lord, who makes every day new. Especially we thank you. For the sustaining goodness of your creation. For the new creation in Christ and all gifts of healing and forgiveness. For the gifts of relationship with others. For the communion of faith in your church. For the generosity of all who care for the well-being of their neighbor. For science and the development of vaccines. For the gift accomplishments, influence, and witness of our African descent neighbors during this Black History Month. People of God, you may offer your own thanksgiving. Merciful God of might, renew this weary world, heal the hearts of all your children, and bring about your peace for all in Christ Jesus, the living Lord. Especially we pray. For those who govern nations of the world. For the people in countries ravaged by strife and warfare. For all who work for peace and international harmony. For all who strive to save the earth from carelessness and destruction. For the healing of our political and ideology divisions for the church of jesus christ in every land especially our companion synods of the lutheran church in madagascar for synodic synodical uh, author, authorized ministers, deacons, pastors, and bishops. For those in need of physical and spiritual healing, we pray especially for Lillian Collins, Jim Dahl, Carol Dawson, Ron Dury, Jim Erdman, Garris Graham, Dan Go Grosskreutz, Jean Heinemann, Dale Hornicle, Herb Ingold, Tyler Kinney, Oren Nussbaum, Riley Roberts, Rodney Schlebowski, Charlie Shoemaker, Dr. Larry Stalter, Kendall Tongate, Red Eulich, Zach Walls, Doris White Cotton, Gabby Spangler, Anya and Ashley Tarr, Larry Gerdes, 
and those whom we name in our hearts. For those serving as first responders, especially Ryan Foos. For those currently serving in our armed services, especially Luke Ashman, Ara Bargeman, Tommy Brunley, Richard Hill, Hannah Hoffman, Kendra Levingood, Alex Perkins, Keegan Pritchard, Alyssa Satterfield, Tony Satterfield, Aaron Smathers, Kyle Steidinger, Donald Tarr, Sam Walls, Tyler Walls, and John Ward. For the protection and encouragement of teachers and students during the pandemic, we pray specially for Tanya Dury, Kim Hughes, Anna Veer, Kim Ehlers, Lauren Ehlers, Chloe Chaston, Zechariah Chaston, Bailey Chaston, Sophia Billerbeck, Kimberly Millis, Hunter Barker, Hannah Barker, Sarah Parker, Katie Parker, Cassie Hughes, Mason Reedy, Ella Reed, Lane Shoemaker, Bailey Shoemaker, Dominic Vieira, Logan Vieira, Aaron Hughes, Michael Schlebowski, Riley Shoemaker, Margie Billerbeck, Rodney Billerbeck, Brittany Billerbeck, Bryce Osborne, Dana Barker, and Cassidy Hyman. For those who lost their lives due to COVID-19, For those who are recovering from the new coronavirus, we pray specially for Dr. Larry Stalter. For those in financial distress. For those overwhelmed by isolation and struggling with grief and depression. For medical care workers, especially Chris Billerbeck, Cindy Clapp, Cindy Heinemann, Bailey Osborne, Missy Osborne, AJ Runyon, D and Art Runyon, Karen Reeves, Bailey Shoemaker, and Jamie Shoemaker, Johnine Davis, and Ara Bargeman. For those currently homebound or at nursing homes, we pray specially for Donnie Greeter, Lois Warwick, Pat Fagan, Ron Dury and Marilyn Chemnitz. For patience and for faith in God's promises. Beloved of God, you may now offer your own intercessions. God of healing and encouragement, we lift up today Diana and Pat, that you give them strength of spirit encouragement 
and that you accompany their, them and their families uh, in a journey of recovery. O oh God, you have called your servants to ventures of which we cannot see the ending, by paths as yet untrodden, for perils unknown. Give us faith to go out with good courage, not knowing where we go, but only that your hand is leading us and your love supporting us. For Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. But thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, Keep our hearts and our minds in Christ Jesus. Amen. Go in peace, beloved of God. Christ is with you. Amen.